A watershed is an area of land where we can observe rainfall drain or shed into one spot. Here we are in Congaree National Park where all the rainfall in this area drains into the Congaree River. The Congaree River begins at the confluence of the Saluda and Broad Rivers. A confluence is the place where two or more flowing rivers merge into one river. But why do these rivers flow? They flow because of gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls objects of mass toward the center of the Earth. This includes precipitation, like rain and snow. This is why we see it fall down from the sky. This is also why we see rivers flow. The water is being pulled downward toward the lowest point in the system, also called the outlet. But what about water that doesn't flow, but mostly stays in the same spot, like this water? To be fair, water molecules are constantly moving, but sometimes we see an area like this where the water stays in one spot. This is called a swamp. Congaree, however, is not a swamp, but a floodplain. That's because all this water retreats from the area, and then it will flood back again. This cycle happens about 10 times every year. Sometimes the rain in a watershed doesn't flow very far. It can get absorbed by the soil and it flows down toward groundwater storage in a process called percolation. In order to do this, the water must flow through permeable surfaces, which are materials that water can flow through easily, like sand or pebbles or soil or dirt. Impermeable surfaces are the opposite. Like concrete, the water can't flow through it, so it just flows over it. Every watershed is made of permeable and impermeable surfaces, which affects how the water flows in the system. A great model of a watershed is a shower or bathtub. As the water pours out, it hits the tub and immediately flows toward the drain which is the outlet of the system. However, some water falls on the shower curtain or the walls, and some even evaporates as steam, and some lands on our skin, which soaks up some of the water, similar to the soil. No matter where you are, you are standing in a watershed, and your activities can impact your own watershed and the watersheds downstream. Congaree is home to North America's largest remaining old-growth bottomland hardwood forest. And it's home to many trees, like the bald cypress, the loblolly pine, and the sweet gum. These trees depend on this water that flows into the system. If there's too much water taken out of the system, or if that water gets polluted, then many trees like this one, the people that live here, and the animals that live here may struggle to survive. And that is why we should study our own watersheds and the ways that we can help protect it. 